All right, guys. P three six five. Here's the here's the family. Uh, I'm missing a couple things probably, but what is it? How does it work? What can go where? Blah blah blah. Uh, some people seem to get confused about this sort of thing, and understandably, it's a whole family, um, and you can have different sizes of everything. We've got multiple different grip modules. Here is the standard P365 grip module. This fits a 3.1 inch barrel. I have no idea what the overall length is, um, but nothing crazy. Here is an Excel, Excel, XL grip. Well, same slide length, just longer grip. And then you get a flared magwell versus the little notched or keyed grip. You also get a slight addition to that beaver tail. Or I guess you get a beaver tail. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much identical. And then here is the new X Macro. I haven't even shot with this one yet. Um, but here, let's put it up next to an XL. There you go. It's interesting, you get a slightly, slightly different angle grip. Beaver tails are about the same. You maybe get a millimeter or two more. You obviously get much more room here, but you get a full Picatinny rail onto the slides. This is the standard P365 slide. Fits a 3.1 inch barrel. Um, actually, I have it in here. We'll come back to that one real quick. This is, oh man, what do they call this? The Spectre, the Spectre Comp Slide. Uh, it's the SIG Custom Works one, though. It's not actually the Spectre Comp. I think that was more of an actual black finish. Um, but the reason I bring that up before we go back to this other one uses the same barrel as the smaller slide. So there you go. Overall slide length is uh, a little bit longer. It's about 0.6 inches longer. Uh, just instead of using a longer barrel, it ports the end, so you get a double port compensator. So, it also uses the 3.7 inch recoil spring and guide rod versus the 3.1. But 3.1 inch barrel can fit right in there. Obviously, this guide rod will not fit. Look at that. So, 3.1 inch, there you go. So this is a standard um, XL slide. So same length as the comp, same dimensions and everything, just no porting. And your front sight post uh, is a little farther up. Let's take this apart and then compare the insides. So I do actually want to keep those separate. This is a fair bit newer, so you may be able to tell by the difference there. So let's keep those separated and just get that off. How many times has that happened to you with the protector. All right, so let's take a look at these real quick. So non-compensated, compensated. When you look down there like that, let's see if that's even in shot. There you go. Compensated cuts everything off flush right there. There you go. This one has a dip. It is not cut flush. That little thing right there makes it to where you can actually put in a longer barrel. You have four different sized magazines. Luckily, they all fit 
from the small one. So they have the same footprint. So let's see, small grip. This is a 10 round, just got a slight extension. There you go, like a glove. Okay. And then there is the 12 round magazine. You can either get flush, which will fit in the XL grip, or if you want it to be perfect with the smaller grip, the standard sized grip, you can get, or you would use this base plate. But even without it, it still fits. There you go. You just get a little bit of gap, which is where that thing would fit. Just like that. Now, there you go, 12 round on the XL, there you go, now 15 round, there's the 15, we get this nice extension, it no longer is a flush type of uh, keyed option because of that magwell so it does feel kind of weird in the hand because it's a little flared all the way around even this it's kind of flared out a little bit so it's not actually flush you can feel that when you go to grip it but um, you got to have some big hands my pinky just hangs off so I kind of feel it there it's actually kind of a nice touch point but that is the base plate that comes with it um, you can get the 15 round base plate that makes it fit on the original size P365 and then this is the X macro woo 17 rounds the crazy thing is check out this madness of engineering the metal itself is pretty much the same I believe there's about a millimeter or two difference in height. That's crazy. This is 15, this is 17. Way to go. Way to go, guys. So, this actually comes with three base plates because it allows for all three sized grips. It comes pre installed, I believe, flush. I don't remember actually. It might. But then it comes with a base plate for the XL grip, just like that. And it's a little bit more angled too, versus the completely flat vertical you get with the 15, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, I will say the spring is a little stiff when you're loading it into an XL or the standard size and you have it loaded to 17. Um, I've tried to break this in a bit and uh, it just so far has refused to cooperate. Um, so it is a little stiff. I don't actually carry it with the 17 uh, in the gun. I carry the flush and then I carry a 17 with me. Um, but it has the keyed slightly longer base plate for the standard like that or if you're actually using the X macro then there's a flush base plate so we will swap this out real quick on camera to show you but it's not that difficult you use a punch you press down you can use a pen you can use anything but you just hold that there Grab whatever base plate you're trying to install. Make sure you're sliding it on flush. There you go. Make sure it pops in. Make sure this actually comes back up. And that when you press that, the bottom doesn't fly off. Um, oh man, it's a little rusty. That's not good. I'm getting a little humid in there, apparently. I got a little belly, so could be sweating on it. I'll clean that up and we'll be good as new. But, so I've been carrying this one for uh, a little bit. So that flush, it 
fits pretty slick. And it sticks out a little bit, but not bad for a really tiny 17 round gun. I mean, that that is uh, quite small. So that is pretty much everything. The only thing I don't have is the 3.7 inch barrel. I have a 4.6 inch threaded barrel instead. So, what other options do we get? Well, when you get the X macro grip, I didn't buy the actual gun itself, you actually get three back straps. It comes with the medium installed, which I like. Comes with a small, comes with a large. So, pretty straightforward. You just take a little punch, punch that pin out, and then take it off, put the new one on. I actually haven't even bothered swapping them because I like this one so much, but it looks like you slide it. So you'd slide it off the back, downwards, and then slide the new one right on up. Let's get this thing out. For the P365 family, you've got a pin in the back. You just have to take that pin out. Um, you don't have to use a punch, actually. You can use a pin, pretty much anything that'll fit, a pin out. You pull up from the back, and then you can slide it out. Uh, there's actually a slight little notch up here. There we go. That little notch right there on both sides, that holds the front end. And it just slides right on back. So, there is your P365. Apparently, uh, I need to clean this anyways because it's got some length going on. Um, if you want to see what it looks like real quick with the manual safety added, this one's a little more stiff. There's the manual safety. You can see how it fits in right there. By the way, if you're going to do a manual safety, you do need the manual safety grip uh, option. However, if you're handy, um, you can figure it out and you can just cut it yourself. But just be careful if you're going to do that. You don't exactly want to butcher your grip module. Maybe polymer and all, but it still holds precious cargo. These are not tapered, so they go in or out both ways. And there you go. It's right back in. It's one reason I love the P365 and the P320 so much. Now, oh man, I dropped some lint. That was a lot. Now, to show that this actually fits in all of these different grip modules, boom. I don't really feel like putting the pin in, but I'll put it in at least halfway. So you see it? There you go. Standard size grip. I already took it out of the XL. And then... I actually haven't even put this in here yet. There you go. This one I will pin in. In terms of what you can fit on the frames. So obviously the standard size can hold either the standard 3.1 barrel slide like that. I don't actually feel like putting this together completely. Perfect. This slide can also fit well, we'll use one that doesn't have an FCU. can also fit the longer grip. So if you have bigger hands, but you already have the standard P365, you can spend, uh, I think these are, oh gosh, I don't remember the exact price, so I don't want to say, uh, we'll say 50 or 60 bucks. Um, there's sites you can get them cheaper. I'll put some links in the description to where I like to get uh, SIG parts. Um, it's one of two places, but 
So that fits perfectly. It's the same length and everything. So <clears throat> now this obviously um, doesn't really uh, fit. This uh, wall technically could fit on the X macro, which I'm sure you could do some like bougie thing where you got a compensator that fit up onto here and you have it all housed into one grip like you've probably seen on some P320s. Um, you can't exactly just go about it like this. I mean, you could, technically, maybe, but uh, some things might be a little weird. So, let's uh, slide that back, pull that off. So, yeah, technically, it'll fit. You can probably add a compensator, but you can't just use it by itself on here. Technically, you probably could. Now, let me put my normal configuration back together. By the way, if you're a little confused on the 3.7 inch, um, 3.1 inch, the larger side goes forward. This part goes back. On these, the part that looks like it would go in the back actually goes forward. That goes to the end of the barrel. This part actually goes back here. There you go. So, so the X macro can fit this guy. Any of the 3.1 inch or the 3.7 inch slide configurations can fit onto the X macro grip. We can take that one off. All right. Now, this slide can also fit the XL grip. Just like that. That's why this massive overhang is here. It can also fit on the standard size grip. If you've got small hands but want a long slide. I don't actually personally know anyone who does this, but technically you can. That would be interesting. So, now, again, because this is a standard 3.7 inch slide, even though it's got a 4.6 inch barrel, this configuration, how it's set right now, is my wife's full-sized pistol. Um, the only thing we're going to change is we're going to swap the 407K out for a 507K. Um, and there we go. We can get a compensator for her. We can do a suppressor, uh, which we're going to do in the future. And now this fits her hand really well versus an actual full-size firearm. Um, now her concealed carry will be pretty much identical to my concealed carry, which if you're curious, this is my grip module. I don't have the manual safety, but I do have a TLR7 sub. She will have the manual safety with a TLR7 sub when she chooses to have it, which I will push for more often. We're going to swap that out. Oh, this is mine. So it's a 507K. Um, and yeah, and if you're wondering what it looks like with the FDE, FCU, there you go. Some people are all about looks. I don't personally care that much. Um, but there you go. So. I hope this has been helpful and has answered some questions. Um, but there is one more thing to add. By the way, here you go. That's what the full full shebang would look like right there. 
And for anyone who might be curious, it's actually, oh right, I have my finger. Duh. Don't be stupid. Let's actually put the compensated one on there. Some people might want to see what that looks like. There you go.